Good morning. Welcome to Building Connections Without Talks. This is episode 21. I am your host, Betty Gonzalez. And today I want to bring you something that's very dear to my heart. And this message is going to be mainly for sellers, but I want you to hear in the right. But I mean, this applies to anybody, but I'm going to do an example. I'm going to do an example here to show you. I'm going to show it to you live because there's a lot of misconception of how to price your property. And I want to show it to you exactly how you arrive at the price when we suggest price for the sellers and where we come up with this data. Also, I not only want you to look through it as a seller, but I want you to look at it through the lens of a buyer. If you were the consumer trying to go and purchase a property right now, right here in Doral or in any other place, I want you to look at the the information that I'm going to present to you as if you were a buyer, because that is exactly how people that are wanting to purchase your property are going to be looking at it as well. So I was doing a research to spotlight one of my communities right here in Doral because I do the spotlight series and I do different videos of our different communities. And this one stood out particularly because there's two properties that look exactly the same. As a matter of fact, one looks better than the other one. And I'll let you be the judge for it. And one is priced way higher than the other one. And I want you to tell me which one do you believe is going to sell quicker. So now let's go and do this. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm, I want to bring this to you because it's a, it's, it's a real example that I can show you right now. And what we are trying to explain to sellers when we're pricing a property. So if we're trying to price a property, let's use $10 for uh, simplicity. $10 where another property is being sold for $9.50, but the one at $9.50 have the same or better features than the one at $10. If you are a seller or if you're a buyer, I mean, what would you choose? You would choose best value, same benefits for for less money. So that is more valuable to you. That is the exact same thing because what happens, a lot of sellers want to place a property high in the hopes that they can negotiate to get to the price that they want to. That's not how it works in real estate. In any other areas, it could work that way, except in real estate. The longer the a property sits on the market, because it's priced higher and you have to do come down to do price corrections and houses similar to yours in your same community are selling faster than yours. People are starting to get the feeling that something is wrong with your property. Even if this is not true, this is just a perception that you don't want a buyer to have. Plus, whoever is looking at a property right now, that is a serious buyer, which is not the buyers that you want anyway, they're comparing apples to apples. So if they're looking at your community and there's two on the market for the same exact property and one looks better and is being offered for less price. You, my friend, if your property is overpriced, you're helping sell your neighbor's property. Let me show you. Let me stop yapping and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Because I want it to be clear because this is what I see happen. <clears throat> a lot of agents, as they say that you're a seller and you're trying to sell your property, you're going to potentially call me. And I hope you call two other agents because you want to interview agents to do the business of selling your property, which is some of us, one of our biggest investments that we have, right? So once you do this, you as a seller want to dictate. You are in control. However, you don't sell houses every day. Even if you've sold houses in the past and you bought houses in the past, this is not your profession and you're not in it all the time as we are in, in real estate. So it's not just the price. You also want to see the market conditions, if the market is going down or if it's adjusting up. You want to know all of those nuances. And an agent that's in that area will know this. Anyway, so an agent will come and they will tell you, uh, hey, sir, ma'am, this is what the market is saying the value of your property is at at this moment. And if we place it or sell, put it on the market for this price, it most likely will sell depending on how many days on the market properties are selling currently in that location. Because even though we're in Doral, different pockets of Doral sell faster or so, or so quicker than others, depending on the kind of property that's being offered. Okay, 
So what happened is seller will say, I agree to this price or I don't agree with this price. You know, if the, if the agent presented enough evidence to explain to you why it should be play, uh, priced at this, at this price, then you might go ahead and say, okay, I can see it. But some people, even if you show it to them in black and white, they still decide to place it higher, right? Or you have this agent and say, you know what? I don't think, ma'am, sir, that based on the numbers that you're telling me, I'm in the business of helping you sell your house, not in the business of taking a listing to sit on the market just for the sake of saying that I have a listing and to to make you feel happy about the price that we put on the market, knowing in their heart that it might not sell, right? So I just want to make sure that you understand this, that even you do have the power to decide what you want to place your property on the market on, but you want to have an agent that have the integrity enough to let you know the truth and stick to their guns. I mean, not to their guns saying this is the price that you have to place, but just put a little bit of faith that they actually have the best interests at heart because the truth is people don't get paid unless the property sells, right? So why would they want to take a listing to just say that? Well, I do know why, because they want to use your listing or potentially somebody else's listing that is overpriced to sell the houses that are in best price conditions because you decided to place yours higher. So this is what would happen. Let me get, let me run your scenario. So somebody will approach me. Let's say that I have an overlisted property, which probably I will not take. In this scenario, let's say that I that I have it, and I'm in this community that I'm going to show you. And someone called me and I say, I saw this this you have this property for sale. I like to see it. But I also want to see this other one that is right in the same neighborhood and it has a better price. Well, yours is so expensive. So what, what is this buyer going to do? They're going to try to purchase this other property because it's very value. So some people will take your listing on that is overpriced just so that they can attract people that wants to buy a property in that community, but not necessarily purchase yours. You don't want that. You don't want your house to be like a bait for people to come in, but not buy your property okay so now let me show you what i mean and then you decide if what i'm telling you right now makes sense so let me share my screen for those that are that are just listening to this podcast i'm sorry you can uh, feel free to come and watch it on youtube so let me show you so right now i am in this community in doral let me zoom out right so Doral is actually, okay, let me see, I think I saw my way, a little bit too much. So Doral is from, from over here, you come all the way here and you go all the way to the freeway, down, all the way to 25th Street, actually no, all the way to the freeway, then you come all the way to 107th Avenue, you come up then come up 25th street and then you come all the way up all the way up to here now i'm only going to show you the properties right here because this is the community that i was doing research which was the landmark adoral okay so the landmark adoral boundaries i'm going to show you because it is really important that you don't include properties that are not in the same price point as yours for example the landmark at Doral, let me explain to you how we're going to draw this. Your agents have access to this, right? As the same tools that I'm, uh, I'm using right now. So I am going to use the boundaries for this location, for this neighborhood, which is all the way over here from 60, 67th Street, right here, 67th Street all the way to 102nd avenue and then you come here to the birth sanctuary boundaries all the way to 107th avenue and this is the community that i am doing research on to be clear we only want to search this area if somebody were to call me right now that they want to put a property for for sale and they would like to know the value of the property, the only accurate way for you to come up with the price is right here. 
the only time you will get out of this area if there's no properties for sale and there haven't been a property for sale in the last six six months to a year then you will have to stay out of it but that usually happens in rural areas which this is not the case for us now the reason being because right across from here this is Dora Isles right and even within Dora Isles depending on the aisles that you're trying to sell it will also differ so if you're only trying to sell on this in this area right here you want to use the properties in this area and if you're selling properties on here the same thing because they vary in size and um, sometimes what they offer the lot size and all that now if you were to come here if you live in Doral you know that the properties right next to this on this side are a different kind of property those are the properties for the mansions at Duran. So those are totally different properties and single family houses with bigger lots. Well, the one that I'm looking at is a uh, consists of only townhomes, condos and apartments, right? So you cannot compare these properties uh, to the aisles, the mansions or anything else other than the ones that I'm mentioning right now. Now, the two properties that I wanna bring to your attention are this one, let me make it a little bigger are is $976, $76,000. And this one right here says $869,000, right? So now I want you to come with me and list and look at this features of these properties, right? We're going to click on the features of this property. And we're gonna look at the pictures. This property, it is four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 2,600 square feet, right? And it was built in 2015. And it actually could be priced higher according to this. Okay. Let's see what the market is saying. So this is a beautiful corner property, right? It has two car garage. It has one on the space on the outside. Now let's look at the inside, it's beautiful, it has nice tiles. It's an updated property, we all know, if you're familiar with uh, Dora Isles, that this is a very sleek uh, community that has beautiful clean lines and open spaces, right? So we can see this, it's a regular, this property hasn't been as upgraded, right? From the original, because we know the original properties bring those railings, the only thing that I see updated in this community, in this property, it's the, the pendant lines and maybe the cabinets they might have. I don't know if those were the standards or they upgraded it. Now, let's continue. It has the, the elevator inside of the unit. Okay, it has backsplash and it has window treatment. So let's continue. And look at this at these pictures okay it has nice appliances okay so here we we come to the second floor to this to the living to the sleeping areas you see that it has carpet on the floors right so i just want you to, to take those uh, into into account because of the price because right now we're looking at amenities because i know their exact comparison okay they're exact the houses are exactly the same as far as uh, sizes and what they offer uh you can see it has it, it's just a beautiful house now i'm going to oh you see some people use it as a uh, this is the very first floor as you enter the property, back here, it's the garage. You enter the property, you have two living living rooms, he, uh, bedrooms here, and then you come up to the second floor and that's where your main living and dining places are. You see, these are the bedrooms on this side. And this is your garage and then your washer and dryer are over there. Okay, so I think we've seen enough. Now let's go and I see that the, it's competition. So now let's see how long this property has been on the market. Okay, so it kicked me all the way out. So this property has been on the market since, it has been on the market for 54 days, which is in this area kind of uh, the usual for right now. So let's go back and let's look at this other property. This property, it's new, 
herb. You see that it's new. It came on the on the market. I actually tore this property. Now, this one for nine seventy six. It's a corner lot on the left hand side, and then this one for a sixty nine is also a corner lot, but on the right hand side. Now nine seventy six. This property does not have anything in front of it other than other other houses, right? And this other property, it's competition right here in front of it uh, has actually on this side, it has an open space green grassy area. So if you have a um, dogs or kids that like to uh, throw the ball right in front of it it has a grassy area now let's look at this one now remember this one has been offered at eight hundred and sixty nine thousand, right in compared to this other one that's been offered at, at 976 now let's look at the comparable prices this is also four bedroom five bathroom 2600 square feet and this was this is newer this was built in 2018 while the other one was built in 2015. Now, this also has a rooftop. Let's look at how this house looks inside. It, it is also a corner lot. And like I mentioned, it has this green grassy area across from it. So it has better views. It also has a two car garage and it has the one area here for the outside of an extra vehicle. So let's try to move in. Okay, so as you can see, it has the rooftop kitchen area is really nice. The other one has that as well. I didn't get to show you those pictures because there's no, we're not the first ones, but it has this cover area right here and it has two open spaces in, in the rooftop. And then it also has the elevator that goes all the way to the fourth level and then all the way to the first level making it very easy to move uh, things around. Now, what I want to show you on this one is that this right here is already on the living areas, on the sleeping areas. This one does not have carpet. Uh, it is. It, it also has the same kind of flooring on the first level. These are the two bedrooms on the first level and the full bathroom. Then this is the main living area. As you can see, they have updated life features as well. And they have accent wall. Uh, I actually toured this house myself. It looks really, really, really nice in person. It's also clean. But let me tell you how this property has an advantage over the other property. This property is a vacant property, meaning that whoever is on the market to purchase this property know that as soon as they can close, they can move out. They can move in this property right away. This property also has window treatment, as you can see, as the other one did. And okay, it has nice light fixtures. Additionally to what the other one had. And like I said, it does not have any carpet on the floor. So in essence, you see, it has also nice light fixtures in the bedrooms. It is the same exact house. So now i have a question for you if you are a buyer and you are looking to buy a property similar to this one in the same community same community and one is being offered at nine hundred and seventy six thousand, while i know the one is being offered as eight hundred and sixty nine thousand for the same exact house now i know you see 669 a49 and you see 780 those are not exact same properties that's why i'm not showing you this one because i want to only show you exact same comparison per property and then the discrepancy in pricing right so what is the difference so what is the difference let's do the math so one is being offered 976,000 minus 869,000. That's a $107,000 difference for the same, same house. And one being in a better location, having better features and being 
offered at $107,000 less. Now, let me see. Let's let's share again. And let me see how long this the one has been on the market. It's newer, but I want to see how much longer. I mean, how long it has been on the market. This one has been on the market for 10 days. Now, let me know in the comments if you want us to follow these two properties to see which one sell faster and which one sell for more at the end of the day. Because I will guarantee you that if I was, or I'm pretty sure if you were somebody that's on the market to buy a property right now in this community, you will buy the cheapest one. Now, that doesn't mean that it might sell for A69 because now if there's multiple people looking in the same community, seeing the same property, depending on the kind of marketing the age and places around this property, they will take advantage that you have an overpriced listing in the same community and market it as much as they can in order to draw attention to drive multiple offers. Uh, now, we can come back to just need to leave me the message below to see and we can follow this these two properties to see which one sells faster and for more uh, or for how much. Now I wanted to show you these other two that that is very smart my, smart place in the same community. Now this will be different. These ones are actually apartments, right? These two apartments, 499, 499, they are in the same exact building. So the pricing is very smart. I wondered if the agent are the same, but whoever placed the second one knew that they could not come higher than the other one because they knew that they will try and they will sell the other person's property. And as you can tell, this property has been priced right in between of what the programs is telling us it should be right now it said it's estimated 102 percent higher than it should it should be but anyway here we go this this is a con this is a, an apartment in this community and let's see nice and clean right so what's gonna sell one over the other one it will be strictly the client's choice because they're very comparable and they're in the exact same building now which unit is this one there are different units i know because i tore one of them it would be the placement or closeness of the elevator so let me see this one let me see the pictures on this one you see the exact same thing it will be strictly choice this one the other one has some pendant lighting this one has lighter lighter floor compared to the other ones this one has lighter cabinets compared to the other one and the pictures are uh, a little bit lighter too they're brighter so it shows well on pictures so it will be strictly on there the client's favorite because it is exact same property now let's take a look at the other one one more time so this one had lighter flooring so i want to take a look at the one that says 515 because i know the one that says 515 might give me the point that i was trying to make on the other property if it's the exact same property now this one okay the cabinets are white the floors not necessarily are any different it has spent on lighting, but the pictures are not as captivating as the other one. If you see these pictures, it looks dark and gloomy. You want the pictures to be as bright as you can, because even if the, this property is just as, as bright and as the other one, the pictures does not show that. And this will dis deter people from even going to look at it. If they know it's the same exact price the same as that layout be like no 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 i only want to see this other one because i know they're the exact same one based on the pictures and they might not even look at your property based on the pictures okay so just to show you just to show you uh that it matters so let me okay let's go back to this one and then you'll see the lighting on this one look at the difference and how it shows way brighter. It makes the space look bigger, even though it's not, okay? So, okay, 
Let me see the one that is 515, and I think I will make my point. 515,000 right here. You see the exact same kind of building. I want to see how it looks on the inside. If they don't any upgrades to justify the price, the, the extra, extra price, uh, extra like twenty thousand dollars. Okay, I could see the difference. This is actually a different model. It looks bigger. So this is not the exact comparables. These are different, different styles. So I, I do see why this one is is more because. This is not the exact comparables. You have this little area out here. It's almost like a, like a little backyard. And then you have your parking space right there. You don't. Okay. So this does not compare. So I could see the justifiable um, $20,000 extra. And let's see this $499. Now, but then this one compares to the $415 that I just showed you. And this one is nice. This one also have your parking space right here. You have this area back here that you can have have a grill. Um, you have this 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 nice space. Now this one is also offer at four ninety nine. Out of all the four ninety nine ones, which one would you buy? Would you buy this one that you don't have to go up the stairs, or would you buy an apartment? Right. This one is more like a little condo area, and and these are the things. But you can see this one has carpet. So this is the, the comparables that people will be looking at and your, your real estate agents will be showing. So at this moment, if I have a client that I know they are in the 500 range, I will show them this one, this one, this one, and this one, and then they will decide, right? Or they even tell me, I don't even want to see that one, Betty, because of the pictures. Sometimes they don't even want to waste their time because they found what they like and if i was an an agent showing my clients this one 976 and then gonna show them a69 i will probably be advising this one because it's they're gonna be saving over a hundred thousand but if i was the seller's agent and i see that this property came on the market and i am the agent with this property right here or 976 i will call my client right away and say what would you like to do are you ready to sell now you want to pull it off the market or do you want to do a price adjustment because that's when you see when a lot of properties you see they adjust the price down because they're not selling anyway guys i don't want to make this any any longer i just wanted to show you exactly because i was doing research on that specific neighborhood and i did a video on this neighborhood so it should be coming out in the next few weeks I uh, start looking for it on my YouTube channel under the Doral Neighborhood Spotlight series. And this one is going to be Landmark at Doral. We're going to actually, actually go inside of these properties and I show them to you so that you can see it through the video, how they look like. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these properties or are looking to purchase in Doral or anywhere in South Florida and you like to have representation let me know feel free to get all my information in the description below again i am betty gonzalez this is thank you for tuning in in building connections with all talks see you in the next podcast have a good day guys Bye bye